Hi there, I'm Andy Malone. I'm a Microsoft MVP as well as a Microsoft Certified Trainer. On this week's All You Need to Know, it's the turn of communications compliance, an all new feature which comes as part of Microsoft's 365 compliance package. It'll ensure that your company is compliant in all of its communications. But how does it work and what can it do? Well, let's take a look. So I'm going to begin in the admin center here in Microsoft 365. I'm gonna come down and show all, and to have a look at this new feature, I'm gonna go into the compliance center here. Now, if you've not been in here for a while, um, it's really quite changed quite a lot, actually. Um, I did a recent video on the compliance center, and you can go off and you can have a look at that if you want to. Today, however, I'm going to focus purely on one topic. So I'm going to scroll down, and this is the new communications compliance feature in 365. Now, I really like this feature because it combines not only policies, but also alerts as well. And you can also generate reports here. But the real power of this feature, well, first of all, over here, you've got some recommended policies. So for example, monitoring for offensive language. So if you were in a call center, for example, this is something you might want to monitor for. Also monitor for sensitive information. So um, in communications, of course, we're talking emails, Microsoft Teams, Microsoft Outlook. If your users are sharing content, that really shouldn't be going out, then obviously you can uh, monitor that as well. Um, many companies have uh, to adhere to financial regulators as well. So again, monitoring for financial irregularities can be useful here. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on create a new policy and I'm then presented with three kind of pre-configured options or alternatively, I can go for a custom option, which potentially could be a combination of a number of things. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to go and choose monitor for offensive language. And you can see that the template has come up and you can see it says monitoring for kind of any uh, potential threatening language. Um, what group do I want to monitor a user or a group or, or something like that? So again, I could say, yes, I do. Um, so who do I want to put in here? Uh, let's say I want to put in, let's say sales and uh, in here it will come up with some suggested uh, users. So let's say, for example, I've got this users here, uh, sales and marketing. Um, do I want to assign a reviewer to somebody to review this? I've got a user called Megan and she's going to be my reviewer for this. So you can see what it's looking for here. So it's uh, you can choose the communications. So by default, it will monitor everything that's coming out of Exchange, Teams, Skype for Business and Yammer. And that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, conditions and percentage. Um, so again, communication direction. It's coming both inbound and outbound, but also internal as well. And it's looking for some um, policies based on any harassment, profanity, um, if there are any indications of threat. And already you're starting to look at this and you're going, how, do, how does that work? It's artificial intelligence. So it's a combination of AI and machine learning. Also, uh, I, I recently had a, an, a student on my course, one of my courses anyway, and he was a, a lecturer at a university. And he had a problem that students were passing inappropriate images uh, to each other. And he was asking, how could I stop that? Well, back then you couldn't, but now you can. So it will detect any kind of adult images, racy images, gory, and so on. Now, you can either just accept this, or of course, you can go ahead and you can uh, combine this policy. Now, when you combine the policy, it takes you into this Metro line interface here. Uh, I'll go ahead and click Next. So you can see I've got my user in here. I can select another group if I want to be. Um, I could also uh, add in additional monitors as well if I want to. 
So what exactly do you want to monitor? Like I said, Microsoft Exchange, emails, Teams, Skype for Business, Yammer. This includes all the channels and chats. So everything to do with that Microsoft 365 group that I set earlier. So in terms of the conditions, we use something now called um, trainable classifiers. And these trainable classifiers can look out for things like potential harassment. So AI is built into 365 and it can detect if there are any potential threats, profanity, harassment, and so on. And of course, you can add additional trainable uh, classifiers in here as well. Now, in terms of uh, the coverage, how much do you want me to review? So it's, it's saying I want you to review 50%, 10%. I want 100% reviewed. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. Okay, so we get our review finish and I can now go ahead and do my policy here. Okay. So you can go, uh, there's a docs.microsoft.com, which is a very good article. Um, click on done and you can now see that I've now created my first communications compliance rule. Now, incidents rather, I should say, take place. Then, of course, it will pop up as an alert. I could then investigate the alert. It will tell me um, in which condition the uh, recipient has hit. Uh, I could then further investigate that. I could then go in and, of course, pull off a report. And you can see that at a glance, this tells me users with the most policy matches that would then indicate that that is a problem. And you might want to take that up with the likes of HR. So an incredibly powerful tool showing you the power of AI and machine learning. So there you have it. Communications compliance in Compliance Manager, which comes as part of Microsoft 365. I hope you've enjoyed the session and always, if you did, go ahead and click on that subscribe button up there and don't miss a thing. And until next time, you stay safe and I'll see you. Take care.